All right, here we go. Making street name signs for Napa County. I got a place up in Circle Oaks called Country Club Lane. Starts off with a computer program that lays it out. This is what the sign will look like when it's completed. Or not completed, but the layout, it's Country Club is gonna be printed on a green overlay, or white with a green overlay. So I lay it out here on the computer, set it up on the plotter, send it over to my plotter, which is cutting it out right now. It's a green EC film. It's a transparent film. You can kind of see through it a little bit. And what it'll do, it'll be printed on a white background. There's my rolls of different grades of materials that I use. This particular stuff is called diamond grade. It'll stay reflective for a good 15 to 20 years. And it'll be printed on a, be placed on a blank aluminum sign. I'm going to go ahead and sheet it and cover it. And I'll show you some more of the process in a minute. Again, here it is being cut out on the film. There's a clear backing on it, and it's just cutting the, the top layer of the green. It's a real thin film. And it's just cutting enough to cut through the film, but not the plastic backing on the back. So I'm going to make a decal for it later. Okay, we're back here. I've got this cut out. It's a green EC film. There's a plastic, like I was saying before, there's a plastic on the back, and then the green EC film stays on top of it. The cutter just cuts through the letters just enough to go through the green, but not through the whole plastic. And we do what we call, refer to as picking them out. You see, I just lift them out because the computer's already, plotter has already cut out the letters. So it's just a matter of lifting out the letters. I'll do a few of them so you can see. See, they're already pre-cut. And they'll just lift right out of the EC film. So this, this gets tossed away. I'm gonna make a, the whole thing, I'll pick them out, and then I'm gonna lay a transfer tape over the top of them and I'll show you what that looks like. I have one already made out with transfer tape on it. This is one Circle Oaks Drive. It was made the same way. I usually make them in groups of four. This is a 48 inch long sign, so I make it eight by 47 and the actual white sign here that's covered is going to be 9 by 48 which will give me a half inch border all the way around of it. So this is blank on the back side, aluminum. I've covered the front with a diamond gray film. It lasts about 15 years it'll be reflective and I'll show you how that's done in a second here. All right, I have my sign placed in the roller machine. It's 48 inches long. The sign blank is 48 inches long, so this is about the max I can make on the width. Um, I, I put a series of marks on it with a black grease pencil, half inch on the side, half inch on the bottom, so I can get it lined up perfectly, so I'll have a half inch border all the way around it. And what I'm gonna do is peel off the transfer tape, which holds in place the green EC film, and there's the plastic overlay that's on the bottom. It will be that, that the uh, computer didn't cut through. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this plastic under. I make them these signs widthwise because when you make them the, the, the lengthwise, there's more of a chance of the film getting crooked, more wrinkles. I'll just roll it in place. And then what I'm going to do is peel off the remaining back of the original. And I'll finish rolling this. There I have the Circle Oaks Drive sign. Now what I'm going to have to do is I will have to leave the transfer tape on top until I can do the other side, which will protect it while it's being rolled and stuff. Otherwise, the, the top could get scratched. And I'll show you what the finished sign looks like. I'm going to do the other side, then I'll show you the county logo that I put on. Okay, I have both sides of my sign made now. Circle Oaks Drive. I leave the transfer tape on so it doesn't scratch the other side, like I said. And what I'll do is I'll just peel the transfer tape off now. And what it's done is it's left the green overlay on top of the white diamond braid material so it'll 
come out like this, circle up to drive. It's the green EC film is transparent enough to where it'll pick up the light, so at night when your headlights hit it, this will reflect a nice green and you'll see the white lettering through. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a logo to the sign. I have these made up by our printer, Snapper County, California, the mountains with the grape cluster. What I do is I just kind of center it in that space that's left on the side there, the front of the sign. So the finished product turns out like this, Circle Oaks Drive with the county logo. This sign will last probably 15, 20 years before it ever has to be replaced, barring any vandalism or accidents that's ever hit by the sign. But, uh, and then the other side, I'll do the same too. I'll peel the uh, transfer tape off and I'll put the county logo in the space. So basically there's a street sign from Napa County. And to make the other signs, it's, it's the same principle. Uh, you, you use a, that yellow sheeting for the warning signs with the black EC. And what we've done is we've kind of made our own. We've made our own uh, design on our table to lay out the uh, signs and everything. I've got the nice table here now to work with. I've got the different rolls of uh, EC films that I use. This is diamond grade. Uh, high intensity prismatic what they call another diamond grade yellow transfer tape dispensers then down below i have some uh, graffiti guard film some orange for construction signs and then the school zone signs here's some more signs that i've made that are going to be installed up in circle oaks and redoing the whole division there's some yellow warning sign for railroad tracks i uh, use the blank aluminum here the old signs are stripped of the uh, existing signs and we buy back the aluminum at a far cheaper cost than we buy new ones for. It's my computer, my plotter, my different rolls of EC film that I use. That blue, green's in the machine right now. Uh, the red for no parking zones, the blue for handicapped. So that's our sign making capabilities in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.